Welcome back to Astro Playground. Nice hot July day. Glass of uh, nice flavored ice water helps uh, with the heat and humidity. <clears throat> Wanted to just touch base. Um, haven't made a video in uh, about two weeks. And I wanted to go through and start with the completion of our series, um, working towards the completion of our series uh, on the C14 uh, mobile rig. Um, we're going to do this in a couple of different uh, video uh, segments and put together a series. We've already been working on the series, uh, and I know that some of my our viewers have uh, uh, been watching some of the other um, uh, videos in the series. Uh, we'll be compiling those all together. But today, uh, I want to go through and talk about uh, the rig from the base up. Um, and to that end, uh, we're going to start with uh, the wheelie bar, the JMI wheelie bar. And the, the, this is the main uh, mobility and support, um, base support, if you will, for the tripod um, and everything above it. So, um, a little bit about uh, the wheelie bar. I've now had two um, mobile uh, bases. The first one was the, uh, the scope buggy. Um, excellent rig. Uh, it is uh, proved to be a little um, wider than what I needed. Um, and I, when I decided to change uh, from the CGXL to a different uh, tripod and mount setup, uh, the JMI wheelie bar seemed like a natural um, next step. Uh, it is a significantly uh, beefy setup. Um, there is a, a lot about it that is customized. Um, and there are some features to the, the JMI wheelie bar that are, uh, I am the innovator, uh, that, that this is the very first time that they use these, uh, these design upgrades uh, with this particular set up with the JMI wheelie bar. Uh, so I'm kind of proud of that. Um, one, and, and I guess what we can do is just kind of pull this into view a little bit. Uh, I'll just maneuver this a little bit and we can talk a little bit about it. Um, this setup, this setup is, uh, it, it starts with a base model. Uh, the 10 inch balloon tires that you see here are an upgrade. Um, the, uh, the, this, this particular configuration of wheelie bar is what they call the heavy duty medium. All right? They have a, a heavy duty large that uh, extends even farther out for much bigger rigs um, or bigger footprints I should say. Uh, this particular configuration fit uh, the tripod setup uh, perfectly. Um, couple of key features. Uh, of course it has a, a handle uh, that attaches through a, um, a slip pin and cutter uh, that is easily removed. Um, the, uh, the other feature uh, that you don't see here but it comes standard is the, uh, the regular casters that are underneath uh, the, the rig. Um, those casters are great for um, concrete surfaces only, um, you know, or, you know, smooth surfaces, um, possibly asphalt if it's smooth, uh, but they are casters, uh, and they're, they're meant to move around just in uh, smooth surface applications only. Um, I knew that I was going to need the, uh, the balloon tires because we would be going on uh, different surfaces, grass, um, parking lots, stone uh, surfaces, and that was going to require that we go with this upgrade, um, which proves to be very nice. It's a it's a very good upgrade. So, the uh, the other thing that this particular uh, configuration is set up for is the uh, the Lasmandi heavy duty tripod um, with these knockouts, and I'll show you. A little closer on these in just a, a few minutes, but these knockouts accept the foot of the the Lasmandi tripod perfectly, um, and it, it really is a, a, a custom fit. It works very very well. You can get 
the JMI wheelie bar in other configurations that will work with particular kinds of tripods. In this case, it was the Lasmandi heavy duty tripod configuration that fit the bill for us. So there are a couple of other uh, upgrades. The one of the things that it, it may not be relevant or ev evident, excuse me, uh, we'll give you a closer look at that here in just a second, is the upgraded battery tray. Um, the battery tray that comes stock with this setup uh, is much smaller than this. This battery tray was custom built, extra large uh, for me, um, and now is a regular uh, upgrade feature uh, through Farpoint Astro, uh, through JMI, and you can have this done for your particular setup. Now, I am using the uh, Yeti 1000, the, the Gold Zero Yeti 1000, um, which is a large uh, battery, right? And it will fit in this perfectly. Uh, I believe this is, uh, it is 12 by 18, I believe, 12 by 18. Um, and it fits that, uh, and I'll, I'll show pictures of it, the Gold Zero in there perfectly. And it's got a nice lip on it. Everything is powder coated, uh, so it's, it's uh, very well designed, very well made. The other thing that is um, unique to this particular rig and now is a regular feature for the Lasmandi, uh, excuse me, for the uh, JMI wheelie bar are these tie downs. Um, these are brand new. I am the very first one to get these with, with the JMI wheelie bar. Uh, these are uh, just bent angle um, uh, metal, um, more, more than likely steel, uh, powder coated, and they have uh, bolt holes, uh, five-eighths of an inch, and I have just gone ahead and put these um, uh, clip, uh, I'm not exactly sure what they are, they are reference, uh, what, they're, what they're called, but they're just a, um, uh, a regular spring the, the mount. clip. I, I use uh -huh. two of these, one, one on each side, and then the straps go up to. Now off the, with the Lasmandi, uh, it has a uh, three-eighths, sixteen, uh, um, tie down uh, weight hook uh, hole that you can thread a uh, an eye bolt up into uh, and I purchased a solid uh, 1200 pound capacity eye bolt that threads up in there with a couple of washers and another nut on top so it's very very strong and then that whole thing basically goes up into there and ties just like that um, and it, it locks that tripod down onto uh, this this rig, it's never going anywhere. And once you put these pins down um, and level the tripod, level the base and level the tripod, uh, it's rock, it's it's pretty much rock solid. It's I wouldn't say it's as solid as a pier. Um, it's not it's not necessarily that solid, but for a mobile setup, it's very solid, um, and I'm very pleased with it. So, uh, that just a couple of uh, couple of things about the uh, the wheelie bar. Uh, this this configuration is available uh, from Farpoint Astro. Uh, other configurations are also available. Uh, you can check them out. Um, tremendous weight capacity, uh, and and it it for the most part it works great. I was able to take the the rig out across gr uh, grass uh, a grass field by myself. Uh, the full rig fully set up. Um, and I'll, I'll put pictures up in there to, to show you exactly what I mean. Um, and it was, it was no problem at all. I was able to pull the, pull the rig right across the grass. Uh, no, no problem at all. So um, I'm going to give you uh, a couple of uh, uh, shots of what we're looking at here.
Okay, well that was a, uh, a little, just a, a quick look at the uh, the JMI wheelie bar. Um, I think what we'll do now, um, I know I was going to put this in another video, but I think that uh, just demonstrating the installation of the uh, Lasmandi heavy duty tripod on this um, will fit nicely in this video. So we'll go ahead and do that uh, and include the, the mount and other aspects in other videos. Um, so, at any rate, um, the the, the wheel, the uh, Lasmandi tripod, uh, the heavy-duty tripod, is an excellent choice uh, for big rigs. Um, it is, uh, an, it is a very, very well-made uh, tripod. Um, I've had several uh, tripods over the years, uh, including a couple of Gitzos, uh, Gitzo monopods, um, and others, uh, Manfrotto's, and so on and so forth, Bogans. Um, this. Uh, particular tripod is made very very well. It's incredibly heavy duty. Um, I think that the the weight capacity on this is 450 pounds, um, which is a tremendous load. That's a big scope, um, and more than adequate for what we need it for. Um, it has the uh, the MAL uh, large uh, MAL um, head on here that the, uh, the the mount sits on. And it's bolted in place with uh, six bolts. Um, this tripod very easily folds down and is arguably just a single one-man carry. Uh, unless you are a very small person, uh, this tripod is easily manipulated by one person by themselves. So and that, this whole rig is designed uh, to be broken down modularly so that you can set it up um, in the field out of a uh, a standard SUV, a full-size SUV, um, and my, my Jeep, Grand Cherokee, uh, fits this entire rig inside that Jeep um, with, an, with one passenger uh, in the Jeep. I can carry everything, uh, an entire C14 rig uh, in that Jeep. Um, that's really phenomenal. So, at any rate, we'll go ahead and unfold this uh, and set it in place. Um, it is very easy to, again, manipulate this system. Um, it has these uh, handles uh, that are, um, they will lock in place and then the handle itself will pull out and you can reposition it to um, any, any locking position you need uh, to reposition to tighten if, if for whatever reason you're running up against a problem um, with clearance and all. Uh, but in this case, we'll just go ahead and loosen and pull these out. They, they are a little stiff um, and actually I'm not even going to lock anything down right now uh, because I want to be want to be able to have it free and clear as I am manipulating to get this system in place. So we'll just go ahead and pull the legs out. Make sure everything is loose. Pull the legs out and set this in place. Again, it fits right down into the JMI wheelie bar. It's designed to fit into those pockets, uh, which is very nice because it cannot slip out. Once you've got it locked down, it cannot, it cannot physically slip out. Can't slip off, can't slip out. It is going nowhere. <laughs> so from here, we'll just go ahead and lock things down. Lock things down. And as you can see, I can pull that out, reposition and we're good to go. And we'll lock the last one down back here. So now from here, I'm just gonna reposition this so you can see it a little better. <clears throat> okay, from here, um, up under here, I've got a large eye bolt, all right? And it's a 1200, as I said before, it's a 1200 pound capacity, 3816, eye bolt that is bolted into the anchor, uh, the anchor weight center shaft underneath the tripod. So what we do, quite simply, is just take our straps, pull them up into place, and clip it in and down. And then we just cinch our, our, our straps up.
just like so. And it is quite simply that easy. And that tripod is now effectively locked in place. It cannot, physically it cannot move. Um, these straps are rated at, I believe, 800 pounds each, <laughs> which is, again, overkill, more than enough. But with that locked down like that, that tripod is going nowhere. I can literally lift the whole unit right off the ground. <laughs> it is going nowhere. Um, now, the reason that I wanted this level of stability is because of how big the C14 is. It, um, and when it sits up here, it is a, it's a monster. It really is. It's very, very big. So I didn't want, I didn't want to risk the, the, the possibility that it might. I'm not saying it would. It probably wouldn't. <laughs> but I wasn't willing, willing to risk it. So this was the whole brainchild behind this strapping system. And it is better than I could have imagined. It's better than I could have thought. Uh, it works very, very well. I'm very pleased with it. So, that being said, um, I'll try to give you uh, a couple of, of close-up shots of this so you can take a closer peek. In our next videos, uh, I will be showcasing the new mount that we have for this setup, uh, which is a harmonic drive mount from uh, Rainbow Astro. Uh, it is the RST-300. Um, I'm excited to uh, not only uh, talk about this mount and showcase it a little bit, because there's not a whole heck of a lot on the internet right now, on YouTube, about this mount. Um, uh, there is a surprisingly, shockingly, um, a small amount of information about these uh, harmonic drive mounts and I think they are absolutely phenomenal in their engineering design. So we'll be getting into that in our next video. video. Wow. Um, Showcased the uh, functionality, beauty if you will, of this setup. I uh, have to give a big shout out to not only Lasmandi uh, for their design of this tripod um, but also to Farpoint for them coming up with a couple of the different ideas, working in closely in conjunction with me on the design aspects of this. Um, it, it worked out very, very well. I couldn't be more pleased with the support of this structure. Um, I'm confident that it is a good fit for the C14. Um, and what's really nice about this is that this whole setup can get into the back seat, in the back uh, seat with the, the seats laid down in my Jeep um, quite easily uh, with the cases, um, the, the tripod, the, 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 um, the JMI wheelie bar, it all fits in there quite nicely. The, the tripod, uh, the, uh, excuse me, the, um, the, the C14 actually fits right in the chair normally occupied by my son uh, and it stands up in that chair just like this. I just belt it in, just like a person, <laughs> um, and it uh, it rides beautifully right there. Uh, it excellent uh, for going into the field. Um, I do have a trailer uh, to use for this, but in a pinch, it will all fit into the back of the Jeep. That is uh, really uh, a nice feature, um, especially for impromptu. Uh, star gathering, star, you know, impromptu star party, um, getting together with friends out in the field someplace. Um, it's easy to relatively, 
you know, relatively easily, you know, as easy as it is to move a scope of this size uh, into a, a remote location. Um, so don't let the size of the C14 uh, uh, scare you away. Um, if, if I can do this with a C14, you can easily do this with a C11. Um, and I highly recommend this particular configuration. It works very, very well. So, um, if you like this content, uh, you like this kind of video, uh, please consider subscribing to our channel. Uh, we are, I, I thank you for watching our video all the way through. Um, and uh, uh, we would also encourage you to come and check us out in our collaborative effort over at Astroworld. Um, Astroworld t TV, we have uh, live shows every Wednesday and Fridays. Uh, we, once a month we have a, a Saturday show, uh, which we'll, we'll actually be doing tonight. Um, the, 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 I believe it's the, the 11th, uh, the 10th, excuse me, the 10th of July. Uh, we'll be doing a live show tonight. And until then, uh, I wish you the very, very best of health. Um, clear skies as you keep looking up and keep educating yourself as to the magnificence of our creation. Until we meet again, bye for now.